In the summer of 1954, I had finished uh, the 11th grade, and uh, a couple of friends and, and I, restless as we were at age 16, decided we wanted to go join the military. I, with me, it was, uh, it was just a natural thing. The military was probably what I was going to be. I was going to become a military man. I knew that. Uh, my friends, they really had no military background in their families, but, but with me, it was rather easy. It was an easy decision. And that summer, as a matter of fact, 1954, my father understood, he understood that I was going in the military. He knew that. He could feel that. And he was taking me out to Fort Campbell every day, having me watch all the, the training that, the, that they were going through, the mortar training and, and, and the parachute training and all of this. They, they, he just, he had me going out watching all of that, knowing that it was going to influence my decision to join the United States Army and follow him. I crossed him up. I joined the Navy. Uh, I was out in San Diego for a while, and I was on ADAC Alaska for a while, uh, for a year or so, and then back down to, uh, to Coronado in, uh, in San Diego. And uh, I, was, I, I got out of the Navy. I was released from the Navy. And by January, I, I had decided to, make, to uh, make it up to my father by joining the Army and, and uh, going airborne with him, which I did. In January, I joined the Army. I went to uh, Louisville, got processed in. Since I was prior service, they gave me a PFC stripe and sent me straight back down to Fort Campbell, assigned me to the 101st Airborne Division, where I, I went to jump school.